and a warm welcome to you. That's interesting, actually. I mean, like. Hello, welcome. I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, hello, welcome. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Welcome to the race. Oh, hello, welcome. I hope you enjoy the show. A very warm welcome to the global innovation race. I hope you enjoy. Hi there and welcome. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the Global Innovation Race. Would you like a photo to commemorate the event? Oh, hi. Could I interest you in a photo to commemorate this event? Hello, and bienvenidos to the Global Innovation Race. Could I interest you in a photograph of yourselves as a souvenir? Welcome! Would you like me to take a photo of you as a souvenir? You're a real peach, thanks. You know, I never listen to what people used to say about you. All those nasty rumours about the drugs and the drinking. Anyway, if you could please do one more for my ex-husband Kyle, that would be great. Sure, but we kind of have other people waiting, okay? You're not the only one that showed up. That's so fantastic. I mean, you're not an arrogant asshole at all. Listen, I hate to ask, but could you do one last one for my therapist, Barry? He would just love that. Okay, ma'am, but that's the last one then, right? That's so wonderful. I was wondering if you could do one for my mother too. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, and I know you have your heart in the right place. I, I mean, she may be senile, but she's still a human being, right? One more? Are you serious? That's the last one then, okay? Unless your damn cat needs one too. You're the greatest, thank you. And if you could do just one more for my priest, Father Lawrence. I mean, he may be a Catholic priest, but he's a real live wire. Yeah, he drives one of those electric scooters to church sometimes. Why am I somehow not surprised you'd ask? But last one then, okay? I really need to move on. We got a line of people waiting. Thanks. You know, I read that piece about you in the program. I just knew that you were the real deal. Salt of the earth kind of guy. That's why I would ask you to do one last one for my son, Ted. He's up in Jackson on this bogus charge, but he would be so excited to get a greeting from a real superstar. Sure, ma'am. Keep the requests coming. It's not like I have anything important to do anyway. That's amazing. Thanks. Uh, listen, my boss at the daycare center recently lost his wife. I know it's a big ask, but if you sign one for him too, please, it would really cheer him up, the poor guy. No problem. It's just that there are other people in line, so let's try to wrap this up, okay? Thank you so much. I'm your biggest fan ever. And if you could do just one more for my friend Caitlin, I'd be like totally over the moon. Why am I somehow not surprised you'd ask? But last one then, okay? I really need to move on. We got a line of people waiting. Thanks. You know I don't trust the fake news. They can write what they like about you, but I don't believe you ever had a breakdown. No way. That's not in your character to wimp out like that. Anyway, if you could do one more autograph for Cousin Jake. He's a mechanic, you know. One more? Are you serious? That's the last one then, okay? Unless your damn cat needs one too. Thanks. Just one more, please. I know I'm asking a lot, but it's not every day you get to meet a superstar, right? And my colleague Darlene is a real race fan. She turns 50 next week, so she would just die if there's a message from you. Okay, ma'am, but that's the last one then, right? Oh, that's okay. So the food vendors are here, close to the stands, and if you want to see the Kronstadt Bayside Center, that's like just a short walk to the marina. Excuse me? I see your lips moving, but I can't hear a damn thing. So, as I was saying before, we're here, and the food stands are over there, and that's the Kronstadt Bayside Center building down by the marina. Sorry, fella, I didn't get that last part. C could you say that again, please? No problem, no problem. We're here, and the stands are over there on the left side of the entrance. If you want to try the food vendors, I can highly recommend that. Come again? Maybe it's all the noise, but I can't hear a damn thing today. Well, let's try again then. That's what we're here for, right? The food stands are right there, and then you have the Kronstadt Bayside Center over here, and then the paddocks are right there. What was that? You know, my doctor says I need hearing aids, but I tried them. 
They make me look so damn old. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm actually colorblind myself. Anyway, the food stands are located right there, and the Kronstadt Bayside Center is just a short walk from here, down by the marina. I'm sorry, but my hearing ain't what it used to be. You were saying? I completely understand. Uh, I'm saying that if you're hungry, you might want to check out the food vendors, okay? Right there on the map. Ah, I see. I mean, I, I didn't really catch everything you said, but I appreciate the help. Screw that. Let's just get wasted. <laughs> Another line? It's too soon? Oh, God, I love this stuff. Well, let's get some more. <laughs> wait, oh, no, wait. I still have plenty. I mean, shoot, should we find some cute guys? Ah, nah. No, no, we don't need cute guys. This is a girl's day out. Go power! I love it! Oh, God. It reminds me of that, that boyfriend. I mean, I mean, well, he's not, he's not really my boyfriend, but you know, he's, like, totally into me. And I'm, like, totally not into him. I mean, he's rich, and he wants to buy me a car. <laughs> and if I would just, like, I don't know. I mean, where was I going with this? Oh, I like you. You are a great listener. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. I know what you're saying. But, you know, you really want to hear about my sister, because she is a real bitch, always telling me, you can't do this, you can't do that. I mean, look at me. I'm fucking hot. I can do whatever shit I like. If I want to jump out of a plane without a parachute, I'm going to do it. And I will look good dying as I crash. Hey, what was your name again? <laughs> Jesus! Yeah! Ugh, I know what you mean. I, th th this is just like, I, ooh, listen, and, l and listen to me good, because I have never told you this, but you know, hang on, hang on, hang on, blah, blah, blah. What, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, 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 we should totally go to Ibiza this year. Are you crazy? Why not? I want to try that hippie commune thing where you play drums and stuff, and we can, like, just be the hottest gals there, you know? And it will be awesome. But that reminds me, do you have a car? I've got this invite for a really cool party that this rich oil guy is having, it could be fun. But who knows? <laughs> oh shit, this is strong stuff. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But you know, I'm not really into that. I think I'm more of a <clears throat> home type of person. I like to party, and <laughs> hey, I have done every drug under the sky, or whatever you call it. I'm a party girl. I just, I don't know if I am that much of a party girl. I like, you know, I like stuff. Doesn't matter. <laughs> White stallion is intense. Shit, fuck! I feel like a fucking Superman. I mean, you know the feeling? Like when you just want to fucking go? <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna fucking tell my boss tomorrow what I think of my job, and I'm gonna tell him straight to his eyes and say, hey, your deadline is fucking insane. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna say to the wife that she should shut up and, and, and stop complaining, and then I'm gonna tell the kids the same thing. Yeah! Oh, do you like music? I've got this great song on my phone. Oh, you should listen to it, it's great! Yes, we should totally do that. You know, I'm just so confused. Like, this Coke might be too strong for me because I'm not feeling well. Uh, I need some water. No, no, I'm okay. Wow, you know, you're pretty intense. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I hear you, but I'm like, totally, you know, it, it's just like, I, 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 I can't explain it, but, but it's, whoa, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Oh, wow. <gasps> this is intense Coke. <laughs> White stallion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not <laughs> I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, but you know, I really am starting to feel like shit. Oh, did I tell you what happened? That guy from Blue Sea, that guy with the burns and that gold tooth. So he came by and he gave me his phone number and said, call me baby, and just left like that. I mean, ugh, what a creep. <sighs> Thank you, kind. I'm never gonna find a good man around here. Yeah, yeah, that's really something. So, um, this might sound a little crazy, right, but I feel like an ice cream. It's like all I can think of, and get this, I'm lactose intolerant. Talk about dilemmas. <laughs> it's like the spontaneity is just gone from my life. I'm too young to be watching television every night. <sighs> Interesting. Well, as I told you yesterday, I'm thinking about dancing again. Because, you know, I'm really good at dancing. And this girlfriend I have, she just got cast in this huge commercial. Oh, yeah. Like that um, cheesy snack food thing. Um, oh, I forget the name, but they sell it here, too. 
Though, you know, with my luck, I'll probably break both legs and fall off the stage. Yeah, well, I don't really know about that. Seriously, I don't even sleep well anymore. I'm twisting and turning and oh, just thinking about life. Like, where will I be in a few years? I had all these dreams, and it's sad, but I don't think they're going to come true. Seriously, I used to believe they would. I just don't anymore. And the worst thing about it is that I don't even care. I just feel so numb all the time. True. Did I tell you I'm seeing this girl who works in a fancy restaurant? It's a really classy place, and she can, like, say all the names of the dishes in French. Really turns me on. Oh, God, listen to me. Here I go again. I, I've mentioned this to you, like, a hundred times already. So, I was hoping to get a chance to sit down with Robert Knox. Just for a few minutes to explain the layout of that wind turbine I've designed in my basement. I think it could drastically reduce the aerodynamic drag. But his office doesn't return my calls, and they won't let me get close to him. I mean, I took this job just to be able to present my designs. Maybe I should have stayed at MIT. Sometimes it feels like we're nothing to them. <laughs> I know the feeling, honey. Sometimes I feel like I'm a character in one of those video games where you have to solve a puzzle or kill a big boss in order to reach the next level. The only problem is... I don't know what it is that I need to do to unlock that next level. It's like staring me right in the face, but I can't see it. It's driving me crazy. My shrink says I play too many video games. Can you believe it? I pay her like 500 bucks an hour, and that's all she can come up with? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just have a real bad headache. You know when your head is just thumping like crazy and you can't think straight? Oh, you know what happened? My car got towed, and now I'm thinking I might just leave it there and start using my mountain bike instead. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just feel like making a change in my life. Think about it this way. If everybody just starts with a small, positive change, it can have a huge impact when you combine all these little things. We can actually change stuff around. Serious freaking stuff. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but that's how I feel. I get a buzz just talking about it. I know. Hey, did I mention that I'm going to have my teeth fixed? Yeah, I got this great deal with my dentist to pay for the operation in little installments. It's like totally paid off in 10 years. It's such a good deal that I might get some extra stuff done. Like maybe get some of these tooth jewelry. I saw this white gold dolphin with a pink sapphire. But hey, there are worse jobs than this one, I guess. My sister's husband, for instance, works in a meat plant. He's become a vegetarian now. Oh, sure. Says he won't eat any meat that's produced in a factory. This may be low-paid work, but at least we can go get a hamburger at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm kind of thirsty again. Well, I hope I'm not coming down with something. Last week I felt dizzy all of a sudden, and I couldn't feel my fingertips. Well... Anyway, I'm just talking. You know, I wish I had more money. I wish I was rich. Yeah, stinking rich. Even if it was just for one day, I would be such a great rich person. I would like pass by a homeless person and stuff a grand into the paper cup or go to an orphanage and get them all in a bus and drive them to a candy store. Everything paid for, you know? Oh, yeah? Well, you said it. And don't tell this to anyone, but I'm having some work done. My mother is freaking out. She's like saying that I'm wasting my money and that you don't need plastic surgery when you're 21. But I think it's unfair that only old people are allowed to get a dip here and tuck there. Right? <laughs> That's an amusing thought. Thanks for sharing that. Oh, crap. I think I forgot to pay the electricity bill. I knew there was something I had to remember. My wife's going to kill me if she misses any of her shows. Well, anyway, going back to what I was saying yesterday, I just feel that life has so much to give if you only open your eyes up. We're just really bad at being in the moment. Like, I'm always checking emails or messages on my phone, even when I'm at the movies. I don't know. 
I mean, I hear what you're saying. I'm just too tired to think. It's been a long, long day. When I get home, I just want to kick back, have a bottle of red wine, and watch TV. And did I tell you that I'm getting engaged? Yeah. Didn't take him too long to pop the question. I was in this nice restaurant when the three guys playing violin and singing all these funny old songs. <laughs> I'm not marrying him, though. I just didn't want to spoil the mood, if you know what I mean. Huh. You have a lot of observations, my friend. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm going to Canada with my mom. Yeah, the old lady won a ticket in this internet lottery. And at first I was like, okay. So I finally get to go on holiday. And then it's to freaking Canada? But I guess they speak the language, right? And the journey's relatively short. And they don't have any crazy diseases either. Well, not that I know of, anyway. And my mom is really looking forward to it. It's kind of sweet, actually. And I really want to just get away from all the noise and the smog. 